most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president
Take it, Nye. Take it, number. I still don't know. You can't play with it. No idea. I walked over there, but she was just uh, playing with her phone. singing of the national anthem by our very own senior, Brenna Anderson. Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us here safely tonight. We pray that you would protect both teams tonight and allow them to play to the best of their abilities that you've given them. Help us to honor and glorify you in all that is said and done tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Officials assigned to tonight's basketball game are from the Tri-State Officials Association. The officials for this game are Dave Thompson, Andy Burcham, and Michael Sorley. Now, let's meet the starters for the FLBC Conquerors. A freshman from Valley City, North Dakota, number three, Faith Peterson. A sophomore from Newark, Illinois, number four, Kelly Grieman. A sophomore from Greeley, Colorado, number 21, Madison Munkler. A freshman from New Hope, Minnesota, number 22, Lauren Jones. A freshman from Radcliffe, Iowa, number 23, Veronica Nessa. The Conquerors are coached by Wendy Grieman and assisted by Kelly Kirby. Now, for your Trinity Bible College Lions. A freshman from Nairobi, Kenya, number 34, Madeline Berkey. A junior from Ellendale, North Dakota, number five, Abigail Molin. A senior from Peyton, Colorado, number 12, Katie Mannering. A senior from Tyler, Texas, number two, Rachel DeCampo. And a senior from Sutton, North Dakota, number one, Brenna Anderson. Your Lions are coached by Rachel Nolan, assisted by Quincy Wilson.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another broadcast. The Trinity Bible College Broadcasting Network, can we say that? TBN? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. We just did. I think we can do whatever we want. TBN might be taken. TBN might be. I'm, I'm going to stop there. Yeah, we'll okay. leave it alone. Hey, we got some exciting basketball action tonight. Trinity Bible College is taking on Free, uh, Free uh, no. Lutheran Bible yes. College. i got to get Lutheran that right. Bible FB out of and FLBC. Out of Minnesota, Plymouth, Minnesota. The Conquerors come in here tonight 0-8 on the season, so they've had a rough go at it. On senior night for the ladies, they're going to be celebrating the seniors at halftime tonight. Got a few of them on the squad. Ball tipped out of bounds to open it up here. It's going to be Conqueror basketball. Three seniors tonight. Yeah, we got Brenna, Rachel, and Kaylee Mannering. She hasn't been with us long, but she is a senior this year. And she spoke in chapel this morning as one of our senior voices. Heard she did an incredible job, too. It's a great message. Brenna Anderson led worship this morning and is now out on the court. Got a foul underneath. Looks like the bucket went. Going to go to the free throw line for one. That is Faith Peterson. Foul's going to be on Brenna, her first. Free throw is good. Early 3-0 lead for the Conquerors. Long pass up the court. Madeline finds the cutting. Abby out to the corner. Kaylee going to take a three just a bit long. Uh, Rachel causing some problems early on the defensive side of the ball with that steal. So we do have some live stats for us tonight. Hopefully those keep going. As if you're on the website, you can get that pulled up. Three-pointer by Rachel DeCampus, no good. Follow along. Should show just about everything going on. Brenna with a quick steal just as they come across half court. She's going to take it in strong, dribbles it off the foot of the defender. Picked up by Kaylee. Shot no good. That stats website is uh, tbclions.com, and you can find it on that website there and keep up to date. Got a step on the, the sideline. Conker's going to turn that over. Lions are going to take it on the sideline here. Lady Lions come in tonight with a 500 record, 8-8 eight and eight on the season. What's the divisional breakdown, do you know? I don't know what they are in the region. The conference, they're one and one, so they haven't played a whole lot. These two games, tonight and tomorrow, will be conference games. That rebound is tipped out of bounds. Lions are going to keep it underneath the hoop. You probably noticed a much uh, needed, much valued update to our broadcasting tonight as we have a time clock now. It's not the official time clock. Uh, See, we, we start we'll broadcasting it, games. We'll keep it as close. Listen, we everybody start upgrading ups their stuff. Everybody I mean, ups their games. Shot is no good for the Lions. Conquerors are going to take it. Top of the key three-pointer is no good. Rebound comes down to Abby. She's going to get out and run. Got Rachel coming down the sidelines. Finds Madeline down in the post. Turn around, move up, under, over the hoop. Rebound to the Conquerors. Looking for the pass down the center of the key. Brenna all over on her defense here. Running shots, no good. Kaylee's going to come down with the rebound, dribble it out on her own. Finds Kaylee in the corner. She's going to dribble at baseline. Oh, pass goes through the hands of Madeline, out of bounds. Free Lutheran going to take over. I guess Jordan closed that vent. There's a vent right behind us up here in the crow's nest, and they were cooling the gym off just a little bit. Three-pointer comes off the rim. Abby gets fouled on the rebound. But they had the vent open to help cool it down. We were negative 40 last week. Going to be close to 50 early next week. 
So all of our heat is turned way up, and uh, it was pretty warm in here earlier today. Yeah, and that, that vent didn't take long, and it was chilly up here. And it, Yeah, it was blowing right on the booth. It was a beautiful frosty day on campus. All the trees have got frost on them, and the sun came out today for the first time in three or four days. And Brenna looks for Rachel. The pass gets tipped away, but the Lions retain. Brenna going to go right down center of the key. Floater, no good. Rebound to the Conquerors. Score still with six, little under 6.30 to play in the first quarter. Three nothing, Conquerors up. Shot no good, Abby comes out with the rebound. Trapped quickly, finds Brenna. Gonna go up the court, gets it to Kaylee. She gets cut off, step back two pointers, no good. Rebound to Abby, she's gonna go right back up for two. The Lions get their first two points. Two to three, Conquerors with a one point lead. Good to see Marlissa in the game. Marlissa, yes. Uh, what is Marlissa's last name? I should know. Lidgerwood. Lidgerwood, yes, from Montana. Uh, she went down with an accident or with a, an ankle issue last weekend and didn't finish the second game on Saturday, from what I understand. And uh, I had asked her earlier this week if she was going to be in. And she Quick steal sure. by Kaylee. And she's back in, so it's good to see her in. Yeah, looks like she's doing well. Brenna gets the rebound, doesn't even come down, no. puts that right back in. Feet off the ground the entire time. Lions take an early lead, four to three. Abby gets the block. Marlissa comes away with it, crosses half court, gets it up to Rachel. They're gonna find Abby right down the center of the key, little pump fake, gets the foul. She had a little hesitation there, got the defender off her feet. Gonna go to the line, chance for two. I think the girls are hoping that tonight's game isn't quite as physical as their games in Canada. Apparently that got a little rough on some yeah, of them. Yeah, well, they play by those FIBA international rules in Canada those at Canadian all levels. Bar those Canadian barbarian rules. <laughs> those Canadian barbarian rules. <laughs> they'll, they'll elbow you in the face, but then they'll tell you they're sorry. And buy you a donut, eh? <laughs> eh? Get you a milk in a bag. I, I hear that Canadians are afraid of the dark, though. Have you ever heard that? <laughs> I have not heard yeah. that. Is that a real thing? I don't know. Weird. Oh, step back by the Conquerors. Gets it to go. That is number 13. I don't have a number 13. Maybe I can't see. 23. Lions get a quick comeback. Marlissa with the putback on that. Balance scoring by the Lions. Right now, Marlissa with two. Abby with two. Brenna with two. Abby with another block shot. That's her second early in the game. Marlissa's not going to be stopped. Hands it off to Kaylee. Oh, and she gets it to go. Marlissa fouled down underneath. Gets the shot to drop. She's going to go to the line. Looking to complete a three-point play. A couple of subs for the Conquerors. I don't think dress-up night for the students went so well tonight. <laughs> Free throw is good. I tried to announce what the dress-up theme was in chapel, and nobody knew. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be it's a supposed to be formal. formal. Half of them are in pajamas, and half of them are in <laughs> I see formal. a couple, couple of ties, one dress, and a lot of pajamas. Yeah, a lot of pajamas. I think they, like, shifted. <laughs> but not everybody got the memo. And then I got harassed when I walked in, and I said, I didn't go Kaylee, home tonight. Kaylee, deep three. Comes up short. Abby's going to grab that offensive rebound and put it right back in. Lions increase their lead to 6, 11 to 5, 345 to play in the first quarter. Shot is no good. Rebound tipped around, comes down to Rachel, up to Brenna. She's going to take it on her own, get it to go. Lions have kind of Kind of found their groove here over the last two minutes or so. And it took a bit. They're getting out on the break and getting some easy buckets. Abby comes down with the rebound. Long pass up court to Kaylee. No one's going to stop her. Rebound come, or Layup comes off the rim. Rebound to the Conquerors.
Quick little jump shot, gets it to go. Little token pressure coming up the court. Lions break it quickly. Long cross court pass. Intercepted by Rachel. Yeah, I don't think that was a pass for <laughs> Kaylee Rachel. wide open for wide three from the corner. Gets it, Drops nothing it but down. net. First three pointer of the night for either team. Last game we called here at home, she had 31 points. That is her first of the night. I'm actually kind of impressed with the, the live stats we got going on here until my computer goes to sleep. They're fairly quick updating. I like it. They can be more accurate. Tipped too. out of bounds. Oh, no touch. Lions going to take it. Are they going to be what? More accurate. I'm offended. <laughs> Although yours have been spot on from what I've seen. I'm impressed. But you work with numbers every day, so. Allegedly. Allegedly. Also, Trinity just did an old school hockey line change. And sub three out and three in and kept Brent Anderson in the game. And Mighty Duck style. All they yell is change Abby, it up. Abby, yeah. Hit the flying V. Let's go. Brenda's going to go right down the key, turn around, give it to Victoria, puts it up, comes off the side of the rim. Rebound to the Conquerors. They're going to bring it up. Pass is tipped. Abby intercepts it. Abby's having a great defensive game so far. A couple of blocks, about three steals. Oh, and they give it right back. Oh, and they just about gave it right back out of, out of bounds. They're, they're working on it. Little chaotic on this trip down the floor. Going to end up with a wide open 15 footer. Comes off Brenna, gets in there. They're going to get Brenna for the foul. Push on the rebound. Oh, no, they're going to call it on the. Okay. They're going to call that on the box out. The Free Lutheran going to pick up that foul. That is That's their her. fourth team foul. I cut you off there. You did. Yeah. That's all right. And that looks like another one on 12. Putting them at five already. That's probably going to be two shots. Yep. Yep. Brenna's rock. <laughs> Brenna's marching, walking down the court. Being like, no, 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 no. I know no. what's going on. I get two free throws I've here. Been watching the, I've been watching the scoreboard to know. Good to see Brenna. Not afraid to tell the refs how to do their job. Right. Gets the first one to roll in. That puts their lead... Six, 17 to 7. Bumps it up 10 points. 125 left in the first quarter. Second one is also good. Got another substitution by Faith Lutheran. Free. Free. Lutheran. Faith Lutheran. Free Lutheran. Faith Lutheran. Faith Baptist. Free Faith. Lutheran. Yep. Yep. The Bible College we're playing tonight. <laughs> A little turnaround. Abby's going to get her third block of this first quarter. Madeline comes away with the ball. Victoria Wilson up the court, finds Abby in the corner. Back to Morgan, who's just going to take the three. Little bit off. Brenna's going to track that down, though. Keep the ball. Just under a minute to play. Abby's going to get bumped on the drive. She's going to get two shots for her effort. As we said tonight, it's seniors' night for the for the ladies. Senior Next. and parents. Senior and parents' night. Senior yeah. And parents. And next Friday night, the the guys are going to take on Oak Hills Christian. They're going to celebrate their senior night. There's enough seniors that doing it all in one night was going to make it too long of a night. Both free throws good for Abby. Pushes our lead out 20 to 7. 13 point advantage. First quarter, 40 seconds to play. We will uh, do our best for anybody that's interested to bring you that recognition of our seniors and parents at halftime of the game. Travel on Free Lutheran. 32 seconds left in the first period. 30 on the shot clock, so they can't quite run it all the way out. They're going to get close, though. Yeah, enough to 
potentially make it. Nope. Oh, Kaylee's like, I'm wide open. It's senior night. I'm doing what I want. Marlissa, Marlissa offensive up, rebound, puts, puts it foul. back, gets fouled. We've got at least five. Gets the roll. Complete. That's about the third three-point play we've gotten in this first quarter. At least five parents for the parents' night tonight on the bench. I love it. That's double dribble. Oh, they're going to bail her out. Say she got pushed. Only the second team foul. 5.8 seconds left. Second team foul, but second on number two, too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was on 34. Quick interception by Victoria. I think she's going to get a quick three-pointer at the buzzer. Gets it to go. It to go. That's woo. Victoria That's stops, to shoots, knocks it down. Lions 26-7 to in the first quarter. We'll be right back with the start of the second. My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60% so they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply, and if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video, and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity. All right, welcome back. We're about ready to start the second quarter here. Lions with a 26 to seven lead. Free Luther gonna start the quarter with the ball. And another steal from him, Abby Mullen tonight. Oh, but she struggled to hang on to it and got it stolen right back. Scramble for the ball. Out of bounds. Free Luther. Abigail on the wing, cross court to Kaylee. She's just going to drive. She's going to throw it up there. No good. Madeline grabs the offensive rebound, puts it back in. Ladies working hard on the offensive glass tonight, doing well. We've got to be pretty close to every one of the ladies scoring, huh? That's what I'm trying to find here. This is brand new. So I'm trying to get it figured out where I can get the actual where it shows more than just the starters. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. All right, so into that first quarter, Marlissa leading the game, leading the Lions with eight points, Brenna with six, Abby with six, Kaylee three, Victoria three, Madeline just scored her first two. Both free throws no good. Brenna up the court, puts a little move on it. Euro step down the center of the lane. Knock, ball gets knocked out of bounds. All right, I got a truth to tell. What's that? A little secret. You don't know what a Euro step. No, is. no, no. Oh. I do now because I Googled it the other night. I was like, I got to figure <laughs> out what this. And then I watched like several minutes. Rachel, deep two-pointer, gets it to go. 
what? just had her toe on the line. Several moments of, of the top 12 or top 10 best Euro steps of the NBA career. and So now I know. I don't it's know if I could recognize it in, in place, but... You will now that you know what it is. Brenna, wide open underneath the hoop. Left-handed layup is good. Ooh. Oh, stepped over the line. I think she, she kind of turned herself in on that, too. I don't yeah. think the ref saw it. <laughs> no, he and took him a minute to register. She stopped and said, hey, I messed up. Uh, that was me. Rachel, wide open in the corner, but they find Madeline right underneath. Turnaround hook, no good. Brenna fighting for the boards. Says, okay, I'll put the shot back up. No good. Rachel's going to take it back. Oh, Madeline. Madeline. Oh. <laughs> he wanted to call an offensive, but she was in the restricted area. Now you know what that is, right? Yeah, it's that area that's restricted right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was at my kid's game the other day, and I was like, that kid keeps standing in the paint the whole time. And they're like every time they take a shot, it restarts. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And the defense can stay there. Yeah, I know the defense yeah. can stand there. But they kept going up. It was junior high, so they shot like 16 times uh, <laughs> from inside the paint. And I was like, why is that kid still standing there? Both free throws by Madeline Berkey. Good. Lions increased their lead 34-7, to seven, eight and a half to play, second quarter. I, uh, I don't want to jump the gun, but we might weave. I know some of yeah. you are thinking, too, like, how did this guy get this job announcing basketball when he doesn't know anything about basketball? Well, when you volunteer for anything. People uh, will say yes. <laughs> People often say yes. Like, we literally sat at the cafeteria table and we're like, you know what would be a really good idea? If we broadcasted the, the basketball games. And that's where it started. Tipped out of bounds by the Lions. Conquer is going to keep possession. We have gotten a lot of compliments. I don't know if it's because, like, they just don't want to tell us we're bad at right, this. Right, right. And Coach Noel wouldn't let us turn the commenting back on for <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Maybe that was for our own sake. I don't know. I think so. Abby <laughs> comes down with the, the rebound off the Miss Conqueror's long two-pointer. Brenna, wide open. Stop. Free throw line. Madeline battling hard. Brenna ends up with the ball, puts it up, gets fouled. Ah, uh, Marlissa's grandma. She she might be listening right now. I don't know. She said we're doing a really good job. All right. So grandmas care. Like, thank you. So shout out to all the grandmas. Marlissa's grandma. <laughs> we appreciate it. All, the, all of the grandmas and grandpas and grandparents that are slowly muting the volume on their on their device. <laughs> we liked it better when we could just hear the squeaking sneakers. Uh, Ball stopped just from going out of bounds by the Conquerors. They're going to swing it around top of the key. Turnover. Brenna off to the races. Senior night tonight. Brenna's like, I'm taking this I'm going to light this Everybody thing Everybody get out of my way. I'm going to light this thing up. Now, I've, I don't know Marlissa's grandmother, but her grandfather, and I don't even know if this is the same side or not, was the district youth director in Montana for – 100 years. Who was that? Oh, you're going to ask, and I'm not going to remember I his name now. Ask. And then that, that grandma's like, you're, why are you not knowing? Um, give it to me. Give, give me a minute. It'll, it'll come sooner or later. Um, Ball, a little bit of a scramble. Conkers are going to come up. They're going to call a timeout. We're going to take a short break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be right back. Come 
Keith Elder. His name was Keith Elder. I knew oh, that's company. her grandpa. I couldn't remember. He was actually on staff at Trinity here for a while. Oh, actually. yeah. Uh, Again, I don't know if that's the same grandma. I grandpa, wouldn't say I personally knew Keith Elder, but I met him several times. Right. Um, through stuff at Northwest when I was there for a year, and then sure. through our youth group out in Washington. So. I had friends at college that were all from Montana, and of course, you know, you love your. He was kind the of most. a kind of a legend. All in I ever did was love bacon sandwiches. Like oh. he would make these massive bacon sandwiches. That's going to be a travel. But yeah, he was DYD for like 30 years or something. Yeah, I was yeah, talking was to Joe Epley, their new DYD, and he's like, "I want to outlive Keith Elder's reign as DYD." And I was like, "That's a big lofty, task. That's a, that's a lofty goal, goal yeah. for sure." So thanks, Grandma. Ball, it's tipped out of bounds. Lions going to keep possession. Also, Enrique Robinson just said that we're doing a great job too. So thank you, Enrique. Lots of great feedback from lots of people. Uh, that's why I do this job. It's for the feedback. <laughs> for, it's for all that positive reinforcement <laughs> yeah. that we don't get in our normal life. <laughs> Accolades. Morgan Carlson drives underneath, gets it blocked, ends up in the hands of Rachel, hits the three. It for three. She went from no points to five points real quick. Real quick, yeah. Brenna Anderson still leading all scorers with ten. That shot off the side of the backboard. Up court to Kaylee. Oh, that could have been a tripping. Got a little tangled in half court. Ends up in the hands of the Conquerors. They're going to pass it around. Oh, Rachel DeCampos going to get called for the foul. Brenna must have taken a shot to the face. She's sitting over on the bench with a nice pack on her eye. You bet you should see the other guy. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mess with her. First free throw comes off no good. Brenna actually, from the look of it here, hasn't missed a shot tonight. Wow. Four for four from the field. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Again, guys, I apologize. <laughs> four for four from the, three, from the free throw line. Shot, uh, that pass just a bit long. Off the hands of Kaylee. Conquer is going to take over. Score 39 to 7. 5.45 to play second quarter. Again, going to bring you seniors and parents recognition at halftime of this game. I was telling one of our facilities members today that we had a saying. Well, my new saying is if you want it done right, you would have hired a professional. So we may have some errors in our accounting on scoring <laughs> if they wanted it done I right. Hope, I hope there's no errors in our <laughs> actual accounting. You know, you just had, it our, uh, just had our audit done. And still back, still in the back, final stages. Back is coming back good, so. Morgan Carlson going to take that at the free throw line. Handoff is intercepted. Conker is going to find somebody on that short corner and down the middle of the key. Shot is up and good. Their jerseys are hard to read the number, but that is number four, Kelly Grevin. Her first two points of the night. Travel before the pass, before the shot. Rachel knocked it, knocked it down anyway. <coughs> Not gonna count. You know, I'm really scared that I'm gonna step off the edge of this <laughs> platform we're on. I'm really scared I would laugh before I check to see if you're okay. I can respect that. I Another travel, travel on the other side now. Looks like Madeline Berkey going to come back into the game. And Abby, maybe. Madeline and Abby <coughs> coming into the game. Lions are going to need one more to take a seat. Brenna Anderson, she's like, I want to go back in as she's still <laughs> holding an ice pack to her head. I'm fine, coach. Put me in. It's just a flesh wound. I believe her. Probably. It's hardly bleeding. It's just a scratch. Madeline with the shot down the middle of the key gets it to go. Strong, aggressive drive. Morgan almost comes with the steal. Long three-point attempt. In and Bounces out. around. No good. Abby's going to come down with. Oh. Tied Hard up on the rebound. There. 
Brenna Anderson back in the game. Abby and Lauren Jones got tied up there. I can literally see the redness on Brenna's face up by her eye. I did, yeah, I didn't see it, but <laughs> she must have caught an elbow. Great pass by Brenna finds Abby cutting down the down the side of the key. 43 to 9. Trinity's got a substantial lead early in this game. Has Free Lutheran had a program for a while, or do we they, know anything yeah, about no, them? No, they have. They've been around for a while. They play at the same NCCAA level as we – no? Oh, man, I just don't know if they're in the NCCAA or if they just play in our conference. A little, little different at this level. The conference sure. and the region are different things. Madeline, turnaround. Shot just a little long. But, yeah, they were uh, – they were under a different name when I was a student here. They were Associated Free Lutheran Bible School, and then they dropped the Associated. I don't know the story behind that. But, yeah, they've been around a while. Um, traditionally, they're, they're, they're okay, I would say, on the basketball side of things. Madeline Berkey with another two points. Great She's quickly climbing up the score chart. She's kind of come into her own in the last couple of games. She's a true freshman, so it takes – a little bit of time to get used to the the play at the college level. Well, she does her, come from the international last, game, but her last two years were in Kenya. Right. And so that it's a little two bit points of a was good there. by Madison Mundfrom. Yeah, her parents. Uh, I believe we talked about it before, but missionaries to the country of Kenya. And I'm pretty sure Grandma and Grandpa are listening, too. Out in Arizona, right? Uh, one's in Arizona and one's in Florida. Florida, I Arizona. Uh, <laughs> somewhere warm. That can't be a bad place to go <laughs> visit grandparents. Exactly. Brennan with the running pass over to Morgan. Shot no good. Rebound to the Conquerors. Pass is stolen by Abby. She's fouled. Third team foul on the Conquerors. Minute 30 left to play in this second quarter. Another line change by the Trinity Lions. Looks like we got Brenna Anderson, Kaylee Mannering, Abby Molin, Marlissa Ledgerwood, and Rachel DeCampos in the game for the Lions. Kaylee right down the center. Probably should have just kept going with that yeah, shot. She could have Tried to get the pass over to Marlissa. It is intercepted. Give and go in the post here. A little turnaround shot. No good. Abby comes down with the rebound. She's going to get out and run up the court to Rachel. Right down the center, over to Kaylee. And beautiful Scoop teamwork shot. underneath. Excellent ball movement. Under a minute left in the second period. Lions lead 47-15. Crowd getting into it a little here right at the end. Abby comes away with another steal. Up the court, Kaylee. Layup is good. That is going to be Kaylee's seventh point of the night. Brenna Anderson still leading all scorers with 10. Abby with eight, Marlissa with eight, Madeline with eight. Balance scoring across the board here tonight. Another steal by the Lions. Kaylee gonna take a three. Long right into the hands of Marlissa who puts it up and in. Let's call that one a pass to Marlissa. I'm gonna call that a pass. Give her an <laughs> assist on that, folks. Marlissa with the block shot at the buzzer. End of the second quarter, 51-15. We're going to take just a small break, and we'll be back here in a few minutes with the recognition of our seniors and parents.
My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota.
My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video, and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School. Yeah. <clears throat> all, all right, welcome back for the second half of this game against the Associate Free Lutheran, sorry, no associate, Free Lutheran Bible School and uh, Trinity Bible College. Trinity comes into the second half with a 51 to 15 lead. Little scoring recap. That's going to be tipped out of bounds by the Conquerors. Little scoring recap from the first half. Brenna Anderson, Marlissa Ledgerwood both with 10. Abby Molin, Madeline Berkey with eight apiece. Kaylee Mannering with seven. Rachel DeCampos, five. Victoria Wilson with three for the Conquerors. Faith Peterson leads away with five. Veronica Nessa with four. Kelly Grevin with two. Madison Mumford with two. 
and Laura Jones with two. You can go and add two more to Kaylee Mentoring for tonight. Kaylee up to nine. Very balanced scoring by the Lions tonight. Everybody hanging right around that 10 point mark. Good to see in a game like this. Everybody getting some shots up and in. Runner comes up short. That may have been tipped by Abby. Abby Mullen leading all rebounders with nine at this point. Gets the aggressive steal there. Gets it over to Kaylee. Floater no good, rebound. That's her 10th. Puts it up and in for two. That is gonna give Abby a double-double. 10 points, 10 rebounds early she second half. 10 steals too? She's getting close. They don't have steals on here. Let me see if they've got more here. Nope. Well, maybe she'll pass it a few times and end up with a triple-double. Well, she's going to end up with a foul. She is going to get a foul. An elbow right in the back. That is her first of the night. She's an aggressive player, too. Can't fault her for that. First free throw, up and good. That is number 22, Lauren Jones. Her third point of the night. Second free throw, up and in. I do need to apologize to anybody listening that was looking forward to the senior and parent recognition at halftime. They changed it. We they're didn't gonna, forget about you. They're going to do it between games. We so didn't forget about you. After this game is over, we will. I think we can continue to broadcast that we run in into between the games with licensing and music. Kaylee, two more points. So we'll just make sure they're not running any kind of music in the background so that we can uh, broadcast that for you all. Folks at YouTube get a bit sticky about those copyright laws. I don't know why, but Victoria with two points. Yeah. We can play it in front of a gym full of people, but we can't play it online. Right. A little, little odd. It's not like we're charging for the Do you think it the maybe entertainment. They're not charging for they're not paying for our entertainment, that's for sure. Do you think maybe YouTube can get in trouble? Because you gotta I that's a possibility. Portions of YouTube that are paid. Uh, possibility. You know? Now we do have a license to like play music in chapel, but that doesn't cover into this world for some reason or another, and I don't understand that. Also, uh, with our clock, uh, like I said, it's not the official clock, and somehow we got a minute ahead. We're actually sitting at seven minutes and 32 seconds. I don't think that one's off. <laughs> the student aide that's running the camera and the scoreboard is trying to argue with me and thinks that he's right. And the clock is wrong, but I think he's wrong. So we're going to – you're not going to see the clock move for the next minute, but I assure you the clock is moving until we can get pot, caught back up. A little up and under, good. Lauren Jones. I think that's going to put her into the scoring lead for the Conquerors tonight with six. Victoria going to put up a long two, no good. Rebound to the Conquerors. Looking for a pass down low, gets tossed out of bounds. Lion's gonna take over. A couple of subs came in here about a minute ago. Went three for three on the subs again. Got a little closer uh, to Brenna during the uh, intermission at halftime here. Did you find out what happened? She's got a pretty good welt on her. Uh, three her pointer eyebrow. by Morgan Carlson, no good. Must have been an elbow of some form or another. They're gonna get Kaylee with the trip. I think it was inadvertent, but they're going to get her anyway. Second team foul for the Lions. So she's, she took an elbow? Is that what she said? I, I would imagine it must have been. She headbutt the wall? Frustration. <laughs> and our clocks are back in the sink. I know how it happened. 
<laughs> one clock run and one did not. That's how that happened. Rebound, Madeline Berkey. You guys probably can't hear Damien, our camera guy next to us. We're giving him a hard time because why not? We kid because we care. Kaylee, three from the corner, gets it. Drops it. Is that three on the night? That is her second three-pointer. Second. 14th point. She is now leading all scorers. Looks like she is two of five from the three-point line. Turnover by the Conquerors. Marlissa, a little turnaround, muscles it up. That is 12 on the night for Marlissa, shooting a very good percentage. Five of five. She hasn't missed a shot. I know that one. I double checked. She's five of five from the field, two of two from the three from the free throw line for 12 points. Kaylee's going to get fouled on the layup attempt. First team foul on the Conquerors, 64-19. Just over five minutes to play in this third quarter. Oh, and our first one just bounces off the rim and out. I don't want to jump the gun here, but I'm going to look this up. Kaylee gets her a rebound and drops an easy layup under the basket for two. So, we have 66 points with five minutes to play in the third quarter. The single game record for Trinity women's basketball is 103 back in 2013. There's an outside shot we get to that tonight. And we're on pace. Technology, it's a beautiful thing. It would be nice if they said what what did what did red what did that school we won't name the school what did that school score though I, I don't know that's what they they don't that would that. be the fact was it like 103 to 101 or was it I mean I'm that would have been an intense game that would have been wild <laughs> guys games don't even hit that very often Brenna Anderson three pointer comes off no good Rachel fighting for the rebound knocks it out of bounds going to be the conquerors ball. Marlissa, good hands. She's going to come up with it. She's going to get it up to Brenna. Oh, looked a bit awkward. Brenna's going to get fouled, pushed from behind on that layup attempt. She's going to hit the free throw line for two. A little bit of a tumble there, but she was quick to get back up on her feet so we don't have to. Yeah, kind of an awkward collision underneath the hoop there. First one just off. Well, when you're playing with just one eye. <laughs> that is true. That is her first missed free throw tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear that up here. But she, you might she have said, been able to hear that. I think she said, dang, I did it again. She knew that shot was going to be a little short and <laughs> left the line a little too soon to try and get the rebound. Both free throws no good. Score 66-19. Rachel DeCampos takes the ball away at half court. Finds Morgan Carlson, who finds Brenna again underneath. Two points. That is Brenna's 12th point of the night. Kaylee Mannering with 16. Brenna with 14. Sorry, 12. Marlissa with 12. Abby with 10. Do you think we can get Jordan to open that event again? <laughs> it is getting warm. It's getting warm over here again. <laughs> I can't tell him. <laughs> yeah, we kind of whined about it being it's too hot one day and the next day is too cold and it's Victoria it's warm again. Deep three from the corner. Fight for the rebound underneath. Michael. 
That ball is going to end up staying with Free Lutheran. Couple of subs here. Drive all the way to the hoop. Abby's going to try and take that away. She is going to get, I don't know if they credit her for a steal on that or not, but either way, she got us the ball back. And the scamper's off the court. Glad she wasn't called for anything, I think. <laughs> Can't miss Abby's shoes. They are definitely the brightest ones Bright on the court. Bright pink out there. That pass, a little too low. Skips under Kaylee's hands, out of bounds. She does her federal work study in my office, and she was pretty excited about those shoes when she was ordering them. <laughs> I'm not saying she was on the clock or anything, but she found shoes. That pass is intercepted by Kaylee. She's getting thought about a long pass down the court. Isn't going to happen. I think that was tipped, but they're not going to get it to They don't think it was. At the end of the day, I just have an opinion. They make the rules. It's true. Looks like a few more suits walked in here tonight. Got the got the memo on formal night. We got a couple of fancier dresses down there too. One girl's wearing a tiara. Oh yeah. Rachel with a steal. Takes Wide it all open. the way to the basket and then drops it in for two. Going to be her seventh point of the game, 70 to 19. Rachel with some aggressive defense. They're going to get her foul on the shot. I was trying to get Coach Knowles. Attention. <laughs> he's not going to open it for us. <laughs> no, just to prove a point. I don't, know how, I don't know how difficult of a task that is. He pushes a button oh, on the power panel. Come on. Free throws are good. From all the way across the gym, it's tough to see if people are actually looking at you. Great crossover. Excellent pass underneath to Abby. Rachel DeCampos did all the work. Abby gets the points. We finally got a hold of Coach Noel, and now he's making my, fun of us. My wife happens to be sitting two seats down below, and she noticed that I was pointing this out. Oh, sure, he's not going to help us out. I'm going to talk to my union rep. His working conditions are... Oh, Kaylee gets the floater. Bumped on the shot. No call. Basket goes 74-23. What's going to be really funny is when uh, he opens this vent up and the crowd starts complaining uh, that right. it's cold. It's too cold. Travel on Morgan. Speaking of travel, I've been waiting for this moment. It was a setup. We are a month and a half away from our GO trips at Trinity Bible College Graduate School. One of the things that sets us apart from lots of other institutions is every spring semester we shut the campus down for a week and every student goes on a trip of some form or another. I get the distinct privilege of leading a team of 12 to Las Vegas to work with an anti-human trafficking organization. Wow. Trips all across the world. Uh, Egypt, uh, I shouldn't have started because I'm not going to name them all. I got lots of places that they're going. Um, some of them are sensitive countries, so we're not going to talk about it. But uh, if you're family and friends, you've probably probably been contacted for donations. And if you've given a donation on behalf of a student, we certainly appreciate it, making yes, these trips do. possible. And if you haven't and you want to, head over to our website, and you can help a student out uh, with sponsoring them on a trip. These trips are all self-funded. It does not add the to tuition costs. The college does not does not cover any of the costs of these trips 
except for the local ones where we provide a, a no-cost option to yeah. students that, that want to go that route. But, but these international trips, the students self-fund all of them. And at the end of students' time at Trinity, when you're asking them what made the most impact on you here, more often than not, go trips Absolutely. are one of the things that they say impacted their life, changed their worldview, and then they make some of the best friends that they keep for life on those trips because they're put in situations that they wouldn't normally be in and that just creates an incredible bond. Stretch you, grow you. Some of them have since gotten married, actually. We don't advertise we that We don't much. advertise it's that as part of the program. But it's the byproducts. Rachel DeCampos, deep three, no good. Kaylee gets the rebound. Oh, oh and massive foul fail. hard. Don't think it was intentional. No. Just happened. Hanging on to the girl's neck. We call that a horse collar tackle. Yeah. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> There's definitely a penalty for that one. 15 yards. Notice I haven't said it <laughs> until that moment because I was making fun of myself. <laughs> First free throw goes. That is 19 points on the night for Kaylee. And she says, why not make it 20? Just as well. 77-23. Trinity well in control tonight. 45 seconds in the third quarter. Rachel determined to get a couple more steals uh, it here. It looks that way. She's gotten... I mean, she's always pretty aggressive, but they're going to force that turn. Oh, Rachel's going to come up with it. Credit for the steal. Oh, fake on the jump shot. Doesn't get the layup to go. Ab Kaylee oh, Kaylee's going to say, I'll take that back. Finds Rachel. No good. Kaylee with the rebound. No good. Madeline going to come down. They're going to get Free Lutheran. With the foul on the arm. So I've never worn a watch in my life. Just got one. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> hmm. But your heart's still beating. That's what it tells me. That's what I that's what I was. Although, so part of the reason I got it was so I could see, like, the sleep stats. Because you're right? aging and you need to yes, keep track of this right, stuff. Yes, right, yeah. I'm, I'm I get it. I've been wearing a watch for a couple of years now. <laughs> becoming an elderly man. Um <laughs> I had to put it so it's the big numbers, too. Is that a problem? Anyway. So I got it so I could look at the yeah, – yours, too. So I could see the sleep stats when I wake up in the morning. Guess what it tells me this morning when I wake up? You didn't sleep. It says no data available. Yeah, I don't know what, what that means. Yeah. Mine said no data available, but that's because I forgot to put it back on my wrist last night before I went to sleep. <laughs> last shot of the quarter there was good. 78-25, headed into the fourth quarter. We will be right back. And we're back for the start of the fourth quarter. 78-25, Trinity lead. Conker is going to open the quarter with the ball. Oh, Ooh. shot just a bit high. Hits Off the, the shot clock. That is out of bounds.
You know, I got to take a minute. I'm not super competitive. Yeah. This is making you more competitive. No. Oh. Uh, if I were losing this bad, I'd be frustrated. And Free Lutheran is still out here looking like they're having fun. And you know, they were kind of laughing off that last uh, shot that hit the scoreboard. Kudos to them for still being able to maintain a good attitude uh, yes. in situations like this. Because not everybody can. In a tough season, too. They haven't won a game yet this year. But as long as they're having a good time. Right. Brenna Anderson gets the bucket, gets fouled. To chance to complete no three-point. That is going to be points 15, 16, and 17 for her tonight. You know, I was having that conversation with somebody not long ago about sports at colleges at this level because there was a couple of national national headlines of some teams at our level that played. Uh, one played a Division One mm. school. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And those didn't go so well. And the conversation was, why do we house sports? at a college like this and my answer was well we're not focused on the sport we're focused on what we can do through the sport exactly and i know uh free lutheran uh, bible college and seminary has the same attitude when it comes to it it's a it's a ministry it's an opportunity to have a good time still compete we like to win absolutely right? everybody does we enjoy I mean, it i'd like to think everybody we don't does. put a ton of pressure on our coaches to win we put a ton of pressure on our coaches to mentor to to coach life principles lead with excellence teach these teach these kids how to how to do sports how to compete through a biblical lens and we find that far more important that looked like a double dribble it did <laughs> it did i will say i i have refed a few games in my life and in these are tough tough games to ref because you don't want to prolong it sure um but you still want to be fair. So it's tough. It is really tough. My kids play in junior high. And I won't say who they were playing. That also hits the shot clock. But it was the fourth period and the other team hadn't scored yet. And a kid went to the line <laughs> and made the second free throw. And the ref blew the whistle because he'd stepped just the barely over violation. the line. And we were like, everybody booed the ref that day. <laughs> Both teams. We were rightfully so just beating them. And we all booed him. He's like, I'm sorry. Like, well, give him the point. They did end up scoring at least. So good. that was good. good. Junior high basketball, the formative years. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's some awkward stuff. Yeah, I refed your kid's game the other night. Called him for a travel. Yeah, twice. But no. who's keeping Who's keeping score? No, I only called it once. <laughs> and you didn't call the slap that he had, had gotten on him as he was – <laughs> disrespecting other players. <laughs> dribbled dribbled through the legs of one of the opponents and took it straight to the basket and then missed it, but he was fouled, but the foul didn't get called. He, he was not fouled, uh, according to the book. <laughs> according to the ref. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I will admit there may have been a foul there, but I was still <laughs> – I actually didn't even have the whistle in my mouth because I was laughing at the fact that he just dribbled it between somebody's legs in the actual game. Yeah. Like, you do that in pickup <laughs> games against your friends. Um, it Co was Coach really told him he's not allowed to do it. <laughs> and I may have told him. Marlissa, two points. Inbound stolen by Rachel. That shot is rejected. <laughs> she gets her own rebound, though, after the, the blocked shot. Finds Brenna, center of the key. That shot may have been tipped. Rebound. Comes down to the Conkers. Morgan getting in the way on defense. Rachel drives just a bit far into the hoop, tries to find somebody for relief. Not there. Morgan's going to go ahead and steal that pass at half court. Brenna takes it to the hoop. Uh, looked like doesn't a, get it to go. I thought like there might have been a hit, hit on the, the arm face there. Or the arm there. Conkers up the floor, get the shot to go. Foul's going to be on Morgan Carlson. 85-29. Garrett's going to take a break for a second here. We're uh, a little light on staff tonight, so... Bringing in some backups to run sound, run camera, all those things. 
Couple of offensive rebound for the Conquerors. Eventually fouled on the putback. That is going to put number 11, Grace Nystuen. First free throw is no good. Lions going to bring in three subs. Madeline Berkey, Abby Mullen, and Kaylee Mannering all in the game. Brenna Anderson, Victoria Wilson, Marlissa Ledgerwood going to take a seat. Second free throw goes. That is Grace's third point of the night. Did you miss me? A little bit. A little bit. I just Cute sat up. here. I just sat here in silence the whole time. <laughs> Cute up. Cute up some songs. Kaylee Mannering, deep three, no good. Victoria gonna battle for that rebound. Oh, sorry, Abby battles for the rebound. While tightening Almost her had ponytail. Her hair, almost had her hair pulled <laughs> She's out. She's pulling on her ponytail and running down the court at the same time. Three pointer from the Conquerors is no good. Morgan gonna come down with the rebound. Up the court. Abby going to slow it down at half court. Six minutes to play, 85 to 30. Abby, little post move, going to get a, get it to go. Going to get a timeout. Conquerors, back in a few. And we're back. Conquerors inbound the ball. Lions are 15 points from tying the single game scoring record. 16 points from breaking it. Again, that record right now sits at 103 points back in 2016. Morgan Carlson on the block, kicks it out to Abby. Pump fake, drive. Rachel, three-pointer. Off the mark, Abby tracks it down, offensive rebound. That is her 13th rebound of the night. Madeline for three. No good, out of bounds, Trinity. Kaylee comes away with the ball. Screaming up the sideline. Thought she was going to shoot it. Madeline, pump fake, drive to the hole. She's fouled. A little bit of a scoring recap here. We have Kaylee Mannering, 20 points tonight. Marlissa Ledgerwood, 16. Brenna Anderson, 15. Abby Mullen sitting on a double-double, 14 points, 12 rebounds. Madeline Berkey, 10 points. Rachel DeCampo, seven. Victoria Wilson with five. Let's 
Second free throw good for Madeline Berkey, 88-30. Lions not slowing down, still playing excellent defense. Shot no good. They're going to keep it with the Conquerors. Kaylee going to step in front of that pass. Got it. Points. 21 and 22 on the night for her, leading all scorers. Ninety to thirty, four to play. Abby working hard for a steal there. <laughs> Come, Rachel comes away with it. Yeah, I think Gets it up the court to Kaylee. Oh, she was a little further under the hoop the than she really thought, but Rachel's going to get that steal. Crossed Madeline over to Abby, back to Kaylee, down to Madeline. One was going to call it out of bounds. One called the foul. Going to take it underneath. Madeline Berkey gets fouled. Oh, we are going to do a shooting foul. Madeline to the line for two. Been looks like quiet on the fouls tonight. For looks like Anna Wren going to foul out of tonight's game. Oh, I just said that, and she just fell down. She must be the only one with fouls. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot. There's only three for them on the in this period and two for us. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good. 92-30, 3.38 to play. 11 points away from tying the single game scoring record. Could happen still. It's getting closer. I looked over at the bench, and there is a fourth white jersey, and I thought, did we add somebody in the middle of the game? But no, that is Victoria's husband, who plays on the men's team. Who's assistant coach of the girls' Who's team. assistant coach. I was really confused. That happens easy, especially on a Friday. You know, I know we broadcast last Friday, but that felt like, felt like a long time a ago. A really long time ago. A lot's happened in the in between. We have more basketball action tomorrow. The ladies will be back on the court at noon. Those passes batted around, picked up by the Conquerors at midcourt. Shot is no good. Tipped out by Rachel, but taken by the Conquerors. Blocked by Madison Berkey. Handed off to Abby. Over to Morgan. Who gets it to go? And that is Morgan's first that. points of the night. Now yeah, every Lion has scored. scored tonight. So, yeah, back in action tomorrow at noon. Unfortunately for you folks, uh, we will not be commentating that game. We made an executive decision. Double headers. We're only going to do the first So we'll be back night. in action on Tuesday night uh, this next week. For Nueta Hidasa Sanu. College. Sounds good to me. Two-year school from here in North Dakota. And they've got a doubleheader on Tuesday and then Wednesday, as this is a makeup that we're supposed to do over a weekend. So there again, we'll call Tuesday night's game, but not Wednesday night's game. And then they got home action again on Friday and Saturday. And I one game each night, though. One game Friday is? night. One game. Yeah, the the other teams' uh, women's program got. Uh, postponed for okay. this season. They didn't so quite have enough. Guys. So Oak Hills Christian coming in next weekend. Guys game 8 o'clock, I believe, on Friday night, 2 o'clock on Saturday. And I'm out of town. Friday night? Friday night and Saturday. So I may try and find a fill-in. Good luck replacing this guy. But it's it's going to be tough. We'll be broadcasting as much as we can. And then we're just weeks away. Weeks away. A week away. Short couple of weeks away. A couple of weeks from the regional from tournament. From the regional tournament we'll be hosting. I'm sure we'll have more in-house action before then. So next weekend they're home. The week after that they actually go to Kansas for two games. Yeah, um, they've definitely got a, a pretty busy stretch here for they the They do. 
Steal by the Conquerors. Layup, no good. Rebound to the Conquerors. Put back is good. 94 34. 115 to play. Nine points away from tying that record. I don't think we're going to get there. I don't think we're going to get there. Not now. Block on Marlissa. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, there is always tomorrow. I see my kid running around here with a whole handful of candy. <laughs> That's going to be fun later. <laughs> Mine showed up for a minute and then went home. Yeah, so back to their schedule. So they're in Kansas the week after next, and then they go to their conference tournament, and then the regional tournament is here at home. Maybe. Am I wrong? Oh. Uh, you're never wrong, Vaughn. <laughs> Unless your wife does. I'm you glad are. you realize that. <laughs> I'm quite often wrong at home. <laughs> Less than a minute to play here. This one is about wrapped up. 94-35. Lions well in control. Shot no good. Rebound to Kaylee. Kaylee just get herself a double-double too? Not quite. Not quite. Crowd is going wild like they they were. Jump shot, center of the key, good for the Conquerors. Lions are probably just gonna dribble this one out. Less than 15 seconds to play. Shot clock is off, 96-37. Big win for the ladies here tonight. While they dribble this out, we'll do a little scoring recap. McKaylee Mannering. 22 points, five rebounds. Marlissa Ledgerwood, 16 points, six rebounds. Brenna, 15 and seven. Madeline, 15 and five. Abby, 14 and 13. Big double double for her. Rachel DeCampo, seven and three. Victoria Wilson, five and one. Morgan Carlson, two points, five rebounds. Rounds out the scoring. Again, the Lions, 96. Free Lutheran Bible School, 37. Congratulations, Trinity, on the big win. We'll be out for a minute, and then we'll broadcast the announcement of our students that have parents here and certainly our female seniors for the evening. Congratulations to the Lady Lions. We're gonna get started with parents night and senior night here. Uh, so, when your names are called, if you can meet your child at center court, we'd like to take a picture of a gift for you. Uh, so, to get started here, first we have Madeline Berkey and her parents, Scott and Sarah Berkey. She's coming. Next, we have Morgan Carlson and her parents, Jeff and Tammy Carlson.
Next, we have Abby Molin and her parents, Casey and Heather Molin. Brenna Anderson, her parents Mark and Roxanne Anderson. Support us tonight, support our seniors and pull my notes and regathering my thoughts. But um, okay, the first senior that I wanted to talk about tonight, um, and I just told them we're going in numerical order. So, uh, but the first first one that I want to talk about tonight is Brenna Anderson. Um, and yes, give her a hand. You don't have to come out yet. Wait a second. Uh, but uh, this is Brenna is finishing up her fourth year here, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, getting to see her grow as um, as an athlete, but also see all the many things that she's involved in on campus. If you were here at the beginning of the game, you also got to see her sing the national anthem. She just gifted across the board, um, and it's fun to see her use her talents for the Lord. Um, one of my favorite basketball stories, though, I mean, not just one of one of the things that I always think of and will always stick with me with Brenna is that it comes around at least a couple times a year. Um, and that's, uh, you know, when you're making kind of small talk with the opposing coach before the game and, um, you know, before, you're, before you break and go to your benches, they'll, they'll, like, they'll stop and be like, hey, uh, one, one more question though. What kind of a weightlifting program is number one on? And like, I know you're going to be embarrassed, but I'm like, right? I, he said, because she is cut and I'm like, I know, uh, I, she puts her time in and she works very hard and that's just, if when NAI coaches are asking you what kind of weightlifting program somebody's on, it just tells you that like they're putting in the time and working hard. And I, I wish that it, that, that uh, I just that's something that has always stuck with me. Um, and you're talking about an athlete that that puts in the hard work in the gym as a shooter um, on the court, and they're bigger, faster, stronger. And you see, I mean, the, her height doesn't hold her back. She's able to hold her own. And that's because she puts in time and hard work. So that's something that I always appreciated about Brenna. One of the other things that is, I know no matter when, whether she's going home for Christmas break or summer break, that she's always going to be working hard. She's always going to come back in shape, ready to play 40 minutes or whatever we ask of her. And uh, that's something that I've always appreciated. It's been fun to watch her game, to watch her leadership. Um, and like I said, to also see 
everything that she does on campus and how gifted she is um, and to see the leadership that she brings to this team and I just always appreciate that her attitude is always um, coach what can I do how can I work harder and I never have to wonder like uh, you know wh wh where does she stand on this and she's true on and off the court same person and that's something that I really appreciate out of her so join me in thanking Brenna um, we'll give her a hand and we'll take a picture with you later. I told her to ice that black eye at halftime so she didn't have to have too big of a goose egg for her, for her senior pictures. Um, the next one on the list uh, is Rachel the Campos. And some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite basketball uh, stories is again kind of feedback from coaches. And I just got it again when we were in Canada. And that's when, uh, when opposing coaches swing around to tell me that uh, little Rachel is the reason that uh, their teams have to run the next day in practice. Because our shortest girl on the floor comes out and be grabbing 15 rebounds over their six foot one girls. And so they just tell me all the time, they're just like, I am just impressed with her ability to, to grab rebounds. I don't know where she comes from, uh, but she's just always there. And so, I've heard that at least a couple times a year I hear. I know you guys saw it tonight, and even tonight, um, somebody swung by and told me like, just the quickness that she has and the ability that, that she has on the court is so much fun to watch. Um, the way she tracks the ball, the way she's quick, the way she's always in the right place is a lot of fun. One of the things that I'll miss the most, though, is her optimistic attitude. She always has a smile. Um, it doesn't matter whether she just came from maybe her most hectic day or whether she is just on top of life that she's there with a smile and she's consistent and I really appreciate uh, every everything that she adds to the game. She always brings some energy and that's going to be a lot of fun. Or that's always a lot of fun and I know I'm going to miss it. Um, a couple other story headlines that didn't make the main uh, they didn't make the main story, but uh, her incredible ability, just a side note, her incredible ability to play basketball with extra long nails has always amazed me. And then the other thing that will always stick with me is we can't we can't extra we can't ever actually move a practice time without me having to be worried about she always has nail appointments booked. I know that some of you guys are you know because I see some really pretty nails on campus. Um, she is spreading, sharing the gifts that God has given her, and she's super good at it. Um, and she's just she's a doer. She's just she's doing things. She's busy. She's um, I know she's involved on campus, and I love that. Um, and then the last thing that always comes to mind too is if she were able to play basketball in Canada, I'm pretty sure that she would average about three more steals a game and never fell out of the game. Um, so those are just some of the side things that I think about when I think of Rach. And it's, it's been a privilege to coach her. So thank you. Join me in thanking Rachel the champion. had the privilege of being in chapel this morning. You may have had the chance to hear her speak. Um, if you didn't, uh, if you walked away with a, a, a fraction of the emotion that I had through that, I, yes, I had some tears. It's Christiane is here. Thanks for not being the only one at my table that couldn't hold back the tears. I just was moved by her sharing her story with how she came to Trinity. And uh, just, just to tell of uh, what God's done in her life uh, through her time and 
Um, I know a lot of you don't know, but it's it, uh, almost a year ago is when Kaylee transferred in here, and it's just been a blessing um, to have her a part of this team. A few things on that, it's, it's especially hard to transfer um, into a program that's already played a semester, uh, and Kaylee, like I said, transferred in last December, or last January, um, and seamlessly fit into this team, um, just jumped right in and filled, filled the gaps, um, was a part of, just, it, it was just like as if she'd never, it, it just as if she'd been there all year, and that was a lot of fun. It's hard to be able to um, imagine transferring up here from a school in Kansas. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last winter, but we had a ton of snow, and so to transfer up here in, in the dead of winter and just, uh, just be right there, be ready to play and jump in and be a part of a team uh, was a testament to a courageous decision and chasing what she felt like God had for her life. And I love seeing that. The flip side of that journey was um, was that I knew we were losing a girl at semester and I remember praying and just being like, Lord, what do you have for us now? And to see her seamlessly fit into that gap is just a testament that the Lord always has exactly what we need. And it was fun to see her come and fill that. Um, these three seniors got to be a part of uh, a conference championship last year, and uh, both Brenna and Kaylee got to be a part of the school's second only regional championship. Uh, so they've done some awesome things, hung some banners, and I'm super excited to be able to see what they could do this year. It is a lot of fun. Um, it is a lot of fun to coach them. My one basketball story that I can't uh, that I can't get by without telling on Kaylee though is. Uh, last year, like I said, she transferred in in January, and we're only about 10 games in, and we go play in Bemidji and probably play one of the most memorable and crazy games of, I would say, the one that I've ever coached. Um, it was just unexplainably wild. It ended in double overtime, and the last, with seconds on the clock, the last play that we run um, is, is a backside layup for Katie, and... Um, to watch her, we still tease her because she comes down in traffic uh, and crosses up a girl and then goes lefty scoop for the win to seal the victory in a double overtime victory. Um, just one of the cooler wins. There's not a lot of times in athletes history where you get to like take the game winning shot. Um, but to see her go lefty scoop on that one, I was like, no way. But just nailed it and that, that game winning shot I don't know if it'll live in your mind forever, but it'll live in my memory forever. And so um, it's also something that, that as a team we've enjoyed reliving a few times. So this is a really fun group of seniors. I know that you guys have enjoyed watching them. I sure uh, love coaching them. And uh, please join me in thanking Katie.
My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60%. So they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply. And if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School.